This is Iron Man 2 movie series, Air Assault Drone. Um, figure is part of Wave 4 of the Iron Man 2 movie series figures. And as usual, the figure comes with a base, three armor cards, and for this particular figure, it came with a removable backpa backpack. Sort of like a G.I. Joe backpack with a peg. Um, the, the peg didn't fit very well into the hole so I had to get a small screwdriver and just try and widen the hole just a little bit so that the backpack will stay because without uh, tweaking the hole a bit um, the backpack would stay on a uh, for a bit and then pop off or if you, if you just knock it off um, by accident the thing is going to pop off so I decided to just um, Make the hole bigger and now backpack stays. So if you want to do that, um, it's up to you. Um, figure is quite big. Uh, let me just get him standing straight. Um, yeah, let me, let's get rid of the stand so you can see him from the ground up. Figure is actually pretty big. Um, if you have a regular Iron Man figure. This is about the size comparison. He's about a third, easily a third bigger than the regular figure of an Iron Man. Uh, you know, it, it's so much, uh, the size is so, so much. Uh, the scale, I say, is, is a little bit, is in scale, but it's just it's so big that I didn't expect it to be this big that um, I, I honestly think you're getting more for, uh, from what you're actually paying for uh, with the amount of plastic they put on this figure. Also, the other thing that really surprised me was I've, I've seen pictures of this on the internet before it was released on retail. Uh, I thought it, had, it lacked detail. I mean, it was, uh, they only showed like the upper half of the figure and it was I thought it was a bit too plain and the Hasbro again didn't do a good job but opening the figure revealed that um, it does have a lot of detail in it especially in the legs uh, somewhere in the neck uh, in the arm and part of the reason why most of the armor plating is smooth is because this is an air assault drone and he he needs the armor to be very aerodynamic and invisible to radar so that that's the main reason uh, the colors of the robot are in sort of like a war machine color with uh, gunmetal gray light gray silver here and there so very nice uh, uh, I you know even if you don't pose this guy in flight mode he still looks awesome articulation wise uh, head is on a ball joint upper torso is in a ball joint, ball hinge shoulder, ball hinge elbow, ball jointed wrist, ball hinge ankle, double jointed knees which suffer a lot from warping because it's packaged this way so he's kinda bow legged uh, and a ball hinge hip. A uh, bit of a disappointment there is no thigh swivel at least on my figure. Please let me know in the comment section below if you were able to successfully find that hip joint. It does appear to have a hip joint, but uh, I've been trying and trying and trying to force it out. I just, I thought, I've been thinking it's just the paint that's got it on together, but the more I look at it, I don't think Hasbro actually put a ball joint or a, or a thigh joint for this particular figure. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to accept it for what it is. There is no thigh joint. So with that the absence of that articulation, you cannot point his legs forward without really making making him look stupid. Uh, it can only go in and out. So, but still, you know, this th these figures are really meant to be displayed and just either in flight mode or standing up. He doesn't need his legs forward. That would have been nice if he could do it. I could have had it in a better flight po flight pose, but uh, as it is, it's just that. So overall, wonderful, wonderful. I was pleasantly surprised with this figure. I did not expect it to be this great. I thought it was going to be lacking in detail, but it's not. Paint apps are spot on. Articulation is, is lacking a little bit, but easily forgivable. So with that, I'm going to end this review. 
I hope you've enjoyed it. This is the Iron Man 2 movie series Air Assault Drone. Thanks for watching.